transform two cards, choose a card, get a common relic. All right, there's a few options we could do. There's a few options we could do. Um, I'm a big fan of transforming two cards. We already talked about how when I remove strikes, as you guys can see, removing strikes equals better consistent defense, better turns, better everything. And so I remove two cards by transforming them and potentially get something crazy. Now, some of the YouTube runs you guys have seen, there they involved transforming so the one that my favorite run ever was i transformed i got meteor strike i got machine learning and that was the craziest run i've ever had in my life um so transforming for me i'm a big fan of and let's, let's take a look at this path we have one two three four five rests and a late elite like this is an ideal top tier path for the defects that's four upgrades potentially five potentially and a late elite for a relic so if we transform two cards, it could be pretty nutty. You could argue a common relic is probably the best thing, because we just get a common relic. It could be Orichalcum, it could be Happy Flower, whatever, whatever. It could be the focus thing. But I like the RNG. I'm going to transform two cards. And can I get a blessed RNG real quick? What? Guys, did you just... What? Wow. This is crazy. I'm not, I'm, yes, let's go. What? Holy moly. Yes. Wow. Thank you for the positive RNG in the chat. This is going to be insane. This is potentially, I want to see where this goes. I want to see where this goes. Okay. This is interesting. <laughs> so, <laughs> what do you guys think about over... I never use overclock. What do you think about overclock in a deck like this? In a deck that has claw scaling and is trying to be fast, what do you think about overclock? I don't know if I like it. Imagine all run to clock with unseason top. I know, it would be fantastic. I don't know if I like it. I mean... This is a very high tempo card. Zero cost, draw two cards, play the claws, go for it. I think it's bad. I think it's really bad. The burn's bad. The sweeping beam is interesting. It gives us AoE and it gives us some card draw. We're going to be lacking defense. I might just skip here. I think we're happy. Let's see where the boss is real quick. The slime, okay. Uh, I think sweeping beam... I mean, it's not bad. It's like a strike, AoE, and it does a card draw. I, I guess card draw is okay for the claws. We'll do it. Yes! Haha! <laughs> yes, yes! Man, if I get all for one, I'm gonna... This is gonna be fantastic. I like Hologram. So Hologram is just like... Claw, Hologram, Claw. I like that quick scaling. I think it's also kind of defensive in its own way. Perfect. You could argue that Rip and Tear is good def uh, offense, but I, I think I'm good on offense right now. This deck is awesome, man. I love claws. I, I want to take another hologram. I think if I upgrade two holograms, I have hologram claw, hologram claw, hologram claw. I'm just scaling like crazy. I, I, I mean, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of that. Oh my god, I love it, dude. I love it. I love it, man. Taking a little bit of damage, but it's not. It's nothing like... It's not that crazy. Yeah, we gotta upgrade the claws, but first we're gonna upgrade the holograms, right? And then we're gonna upgrade the claws. We have five rests. This is an insane path. We have five rests. I'm gonna skip here. Don't like double energy. I think it's not that great. I think heat sinks doesn't make a lot of sense. Skippy skippy. I need defense at this point. I could have played claw hologram first. That would have that would have been better probably. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, actually. 
So this turns out like that. <laughs> cold snap. I'm gonna skip. I, again, I don't like cold snap because it's offensive. It, it, it offends me. No, it's offensive. It's an offensive card, but it's trying to give me two frosts. But I can't do too much with the frost right now. And I think it would benefit from just keeping the deck smaller, let the claws do their thing. I mean, you could argue, okay, Cold Snap is going to give me some frost. And I th it's not the time for Cold Snap. It's not the time. I think Hologram is going to be a good upgrade. I think the claws are going to be a good upgrade. The zaps as well. I like Max XP because it makes your future rest better. T set, okay. Guys, I've had bad luck with this. I've had bad luck with this. I, I don't like capacitors. XN. I think capacitors are very low tempo. You're spending... I, maybe, I think I talked about it in this recent video I just made. You're spending one mana, one card, to play... To get an orb slot, which does nothing immediately on the turn you play. And then you gotta fill up that orb slot to get some value out of it. And then you gotta hope, perhaps, you have a focus thing going. Capacitor is something you take after the fact. I'll take a capacitor if I have mummified hands to kind of offset this cost. I'll take capacitor if I have consume and I want to have some orb slots to eat but uh this is interesting I I've done this and I've li I've gone down to one HP and got no relic or I do this and I get it within one try or I've got a rule now where I do one two three and if I don't get anything I leave so I'm and my line must have to lose 21 HP and then I leave but by doing that I get less upgrades I get less upgrades, because if I if I do take damage, I have to rest and I get less upgrades. And if I get a relic and it's not even good, it's like, it's not worth it. Where am I from? I'm from Miami. I'll do it twice. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it, but we did it. We're going to upgrade the claws, get that skilling going. Whatever, I did it. Smiling mask, I could be okay. I shouldn't have done it, but it's okay. It is what it is. It is what it is. What? Oh no, why did it end turn? Oh my god, that was such a mistake. That can't happen again, because that's on 5-0 uh, territory. That can't happen again. <clears throat> wow, that was unintentional. Uh, we're not gonna see. That was a mistake. That was a mistake, dude. I was trying to click my discard. I was trying to click my discard so I can see what I can hologram. Definitely didn't want to end turn. Okay, it's a rough start. Uh, we're taking a lot of excess damage. We're gonna have to persevere. I think consume. Consume could be okay, because consume can open up things like. Frost. And I can get one singular frost and get some good damage. I could also use the zap for the consume and get a little bit more extra damage. We could do loop. I think loop now is a good card. Just because it's doing, for one mana, it's already doing the passive twice. But it makes more sense when you have other things going on. Uh, I wish I didn't take that damage right there in that fight. I had lethal that turn. It's okay. I can't. I can't, uh, I can't dwell on that, that turn. He thinks it's best to uh, keep the deck small. So here's the thing. We have loop. It gets out of the cycle. We have two turns to get it out with the the slime. And if I do that, what it's doing is it's doing six damage each turn with the, the lightning. And that's if I don't get any, um, if I don't get any focus. And if I get frost, then I'm getting more frost. Hmm. I think loop is a really good card, and I think it opens up a lot of possibilities. I guess we bank on the claw, but then we're, we're really banking on... We'll skip. The thing is, I wanted to do this elite, but because I just lost all that life from the relic and from that thief by mistake, I feel less inclined. But this elite could be Alcissin Top, it could be Kunai, Shuriken, it could be a lot of good relics. I think, I think loop can't be bad. Honestly, guys, I think loop can't be bad. Loop is so good. 
I should have taken loop. It's not a very good turn, though. It's not a very good turn. I almost feel like I want a hologram. I feel like I want a hologram. Next turn I have Claw plus. But I've already used Claw twice, so it's doing some damage. I, I kind of want a hologram dual cast. Get some more damage. Or maybe at least hologram sweeping beam. I don't know if it's worth it. Okay. Okay, so we get defrag. So this is the possibility to like... If I took loop... I should have taken the loop because I thought the loop was fine. It gets out of the cycle and I think it gives you value. Especially at one mana. But, uh, so defrag is not bad either. So defrag can open up things like... It can open up things like some frost, and it can make my darks, if I get a dark orbs, or make the lightning at least better. But reinforced body is really good too, because reinforced body is a nice block. And because I have claws, which are free, I could play claws and reinforced body on the same turn. So it's gotta be reinforced body. And, okay, the question is, do I rest? And... I think we upgrade the claws, and we go for that scaling. Because, okay, so I could... I do this. I do this. I feel like I have to use his potion. Unless we can split him now, we'll see. So this is doing 21 block, 28 block. And that's good because I can get more time to do my, um, my claw stuff. I could use this potion. I might as well. Whoa, what is up with that? Okay. Okay, I'll take it. The fruit juice. That's nice. Those are some good potions to get. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. You know what? No, it's okay. Let's do this. We're fine. I guess that buys us some time for claw. So that's that's splitting him unfortunately. But by the next the next claw is gonna be doing fifteen damage. It only gets up for the air. And this is a decent split because we get eighteen plus twelve plus zap. I mean, it's not a bad split. I could have just taken claw and called it a day. Hope I don't regret this. The claw's gonna scale immensely. I just need to get claw right here. So this splits him, because he splits at 30. Alright, so this splits him. We got the claw for 13. We got hauling him for the claw for the lethal. Easy. The next claw is doing even more damage. Eighteen. Tool casts. The claw coming up is gonna kill one of them. 27 damage, and GG. What a nice little easy boss fight. Okay, we got region pot, echo form, multicast, under strike. Okay, so we saw what multicast could do, but it's more potential with dark orbs and plasma. Echo form, on the other hand, can make the claw play twice, and then I can do hologram twice to bring the claws back. I mean, the potential is amazing. You could argue the multicast is doing some stuff. Okay, it's got to be the echo form. So now what we want to... Wow, we don't get an energy relic, which is fine. So there's a few things we could do. So we can look for Ori for more claws. And potentially offer one if we're lucky. The Eternal Feather is giving us sustain, which allows us to get more upgrades. And the White Beast Statue is giving us more potions, which can give us some of the value that we might want going into Act 2. So we probably look things for like intangible potions. I think that's no longer a thing for us. Never mind. We look for... Region pots, ancient pots, 
block pots, fire pots, you know, all the good stuff that we might want. But or we could be It could be some good some good card selection, which I feel like our deck needs to be fleshed out a little bit. And we would ideally want a turbo, right? So since we don't have an energy relic, we ideally want a turbo for the echo form in the least. And the feather, okay, is not bad because it gives us sustain. So we can get more upgrades. But I'm gonna do the orrery because I think turbo, at least for me, is worth it. So we're gonna come back to this. I think the beam cell is not bad. I think the rebound is not bad. I think the go for the eyes is not bad. I think turbo is good, although reinforced body is very good as well. I think auto shields is very good. I think a turbo is very good. So I think in this situation, I'll take the auto shields. I think self repair is going to be very good. So is steam bear. I think self repair is going to give us some more sustain because we might take some damage. I think the steam bear is very good as well, but they're both. They're both. I'll take the self repair. Although we can do consume now that we have. Nah, we're doing this. We're doing the self repair. I think in this situation, I'll take the auto shields here. I think I'll take a turbo. Over a reinforced body, it's hard to say. And here we could take. We can go for the card draw because we have claws, so we can get frost, get some better block, and get card draw. Or we can go for beam cell to get the vulnerable, which is going to be a lot of damage with what we're doing. Beam cell is going to be it's not only cheap, but it helps us get a lot more damage. I think the frost and the, the card draw could be something useful. I think go for the eyes. It's hard to say because it's going to help. What is a rebound going to do? I could rebound the claw and get that damage ASAP. I could even rebound certain defensive cards I might need in the next turn. But go for the eyes. Ah, man. It's pretty legit. I think it's pretty legit, yeah. So you, you think that Reinforced Body is better than Auto Shields in my deck? Because here's the thing, yeah, if, if I'm using Holograms, Auto Shields is not good. But, you know what? Auto Shields doesn't work well with Echo Form either. That's true. Because when you use Echo Form, this is not being played twice. What I like about Auto Shields, though, is that on the turns where I'm not, when I don't have Reinforced Body and I don't have Echo Form or any of those things, it's still 11 block for one. And when you are on, when you're in this position, when you don't have that much energy, cards like this are like a dime a dozen. Ra rather, it's the opposite. These things are super invaluable because you want you want as much value for your mana as possible. I don't need to play Auto Shields when I have Echo Form, exactly, but this Auto Shields helps me get to the Echo Form point, right? So it's about my turns 1 to 4, when one turns 1 to 3. Auto Shields is a good block. The value of that block is insane versus anything I have right now. So right now, if I take another Reinforced Body and a Turbo, I think I do Auto Shields, and I think I do Turbo. And I think Rebound or Go for the Eyes is, is, is tough to say. I think Rebound Claw is pretty nice. I think Go for the Eyes is a little bit more defensive, and that could give me some... Um, the weakened can, can carry on into other turns. I think we have hologram for the rebound purposes. I'm going to go ahead and do the go for the S. Let's see how we do. We're going against the champ. So with the champ, I can survive with the claw scaling. I just got to be smart with it. But we don't want to do too many elites. We got one lead elite. Is there any way we can avoid that altogether? We can avoid elites altogether. And that's going to mean me being a pansy. If I want to change my mind, I can go for one elite here and still get four rests. So we're going to go this path. The problem with this path is that we don't get a shop early on. If we want to get an early shop right here to look for all for all for one, we would have to we have to guarantee fighting an elite. If I want to give myself some variance and maybe not fight an elite, then I go this path. I still get a late shop. And if I'm feeling good, I can do one elite and get four rests. I get an extra rest and can do an elite. This is an early shop, so they can give me this potentially give me the power earlier. This can give me all for one and make my deck go crazy. But I'm not too comfortable with Force Elite, so I'm gonna go this path right here. Let's see. Yeah, I think All for One is insane. So, this is a situation where, like, you probably wanna get Echo Form out, anyways, right? Because what Echo Form is doing for you is it's gonna make Self Repair play twice, right? It makes Self Repair play twice, it makes all your blocks play twice, it gives you so much value, it's incredible. I mean, look at that. 
I wouldn't have been able to block otherwise. So Echo Form is okay to take damage for that, especially when you have self prepare in the deck, which I do, right? I had that in my deck. Pretty sure I do. Frail sucks. So auto shoots is a situation where it's like, okay, I guess we play self prepare twice. Let's draw. We can still do auto shields for eight. That's still good, in my opinion. We got claw. That's nice. We can look for go for the eyes, and then still, we're still fine. Yeah, another situation where like, auto shields is not good in the situation. So you could argue, okay, it's probably better to do go for the eyes twice, but then auto shields block. You know what? Let's bring back Go For The Eyes again. I want to get weakened for as long as possible. It's going to be a slow fight, guys, but once I get the Claw Scaling, we're going to be fine, right? So, a Claw Scaling twice is amazing for me. Okay. Beautiful. The deck's working beautiful. It's late there in Spain, so you got to go. Good night, good luck. Hey, thank you, man. Take care, uh, Victor. Thanks for hanging out. You still died to chip sometimes with all for one? The champ? Yeah. GG. GG. Flaw is insane. Hologram plus. I'll take another hologram plus. <laughs> How many holograms can we take? I guess a lot. Remove a card. Well, we. You know what? It's strictly better to remove. Actually, this is fine because. We do have a Smiling Mask, but we're not going to hit the shop until very late, so I'd rather move now. I'm a little upset about th that this is the fight I'm taking right now because... Ah, oh, whatever, it's fine. I would say this is a deck that Time Meter kind of eats alive, but we can still make it work as well. I think Claw is so good, guys. So we're taking damage here, as expected. Okay, so I can do auto shields, but this is where I want to like... This is where you want to play hyper, I mean echo form. Do we have lethal? Let me see, wait, this is 16. We have lethal. I was about to take damage for no reason. I'm crazy. I was about to take damage. Okay. We got Rebound Ripper Tier Barrage. Um, do we want the Rebound now? I think... I think up to uh, 4 is fine. Up to 4 Claws. Yeah, anything that has high value, Mini, like m m Minus Seasons, anything that has high value, like Hyper Beam, that has a downside, where the downside doesn't affect me, it's really good in a deck with low energy. Especially with Echo Form, right? What would really be good is get Seek, so I can Seek the Turbo and Echo Form and get that played ASAP. Another good thing would be all for one. Uh, rebound, I, I don't really... I think we're doing fine with the Hologram stuff. We're doing fine with the Hologram stuff. I'm skipping. That's unfortunate. But we have a lot of max HP, so when we do rest, we're going to get a nice thick rest. Upgrading all the defense. So we, this basically what this is basically doing is upgrading all my strikes and defense. So this is going to upgrade most of my defense. It gives me better block. Or I could remove a strike and have the deck even be even thinner. So that I'm getting claw consistently and echo form consistently. There's two things. You could argue, okay, if I remove the strike, I'm getting claw consistently scaling. And that's going to help me in the long run to uh, win whatever fights I have to do. Or you could say upgrading all strikes and defense. I mean, that value of the defend is probably really good. Uh, we should probably rest here, but here's what I'm going to do. I want to make self-repair better sustain. I also want to make things like go for the eyes double weaken. I also want to make turbo more so I can get echo form out. So I'm going to do turbo first, because I think echo form is so important that turbo needs to be upgraded. Okay. I kind of want to save self-repair 
for the echo form. I know that's greedy. And that might bite me in the ass because if I let's say I end up Let's say I end up drawing back into Supper Bear. Here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink this. We're not gonna be greedy, right? Because I don't wanna The region pod's probably good enough. I mean we could be greedy, but it's okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's try to draw for Echo Form. Nope. We need some card draw. I mean, now that we have Turbo Plus, skin is not bad. Seek would be amazing. How do I like it to remove all the defense? Well, I don't want to remove all the defense. I want to... What I wanted to do was... I want to remove the strike so that I could have a, a smaller deck. But it's okay. I think upgrading defense is fine. Oops. Forgot about Echo Farm. Ah, uh, let's do this. Ugh, it's gross. Why, why, did, why did I make myself confused? Why did I just do that? Why did I just do that? I just confused myself. Oh my god, I, I just probably killed myself. What am I doing? That was a mistake. Whoa! Yes! So here's the thing, guys. I could go for an elite. <laughs> I can go for an elite and um, I think we can handle an elite with this deck and then that gives us two more rests but by doing that so here's what we're gonna do this do we want to rest I think resting is probably the best play here right because if I do fight an elite I'd rather be healthy and wow me in the bone so he, so whatever it depends on what this is we got an, another upgrade well I'll be damned. I guess I gotta upgrade these claws. So what I could do is go for this elite, and I can get two more rest. Or I can go for the shop, and maybe the shop gives me all for one. But these elites can give me relics that are gonna be potentially game-changing with kunai or shuriken. If I elite, there's no shop. Yeah, exactly. So if I elite, there's no shop. But then what happens is I get, I get another upgrade, and potentially two more upgrades. And I also get a relic. For a fight. I get a relic for a fight. If I go to the shop, I potentially get a relic for gold, or I get the chance to see all for one. Let's take let's take a look at, I guess, what at least it could be, right? If it's the uh, Gremlin Leader, I think we can defend consistently. We have enough. If we can get Echo Form out, I think with the... Um, if we get the Claw Scaling, we're doing some good stuff. I think we can block and we can get the claw scaling and we'll be fine. I think the slavers might be an issue. I think the book of stabbing can be an issue. I'll go for the shop. Uh oh. Wasn't the greatest first turn. We need like we need like a skim for that first turn. Or a malaise, please. Give me a malaise. Look at that claw, baby. Luck is the mer the luck is the fusion of opportunity. And um Luck is deceptive, basically. I don't think I'm a bad player. Because I've uh, been playing this game quite a bit, and I think in order to get a win streak in any capacity, you have to be at least a decent player. 
<clears throat> so self repair twice. I did get lucky though. I mean that we saw. We saw that that transform two cards was two claws. I mean that's that's not, that that doesn't happen too often. But I do play a lot, so I, because I play a lot, I'm more often to get lucky because I have more opportunity to get lucky. That's a full heal, yeah. I know it's a full heal, but here's the thing: if I do defend, go for the ice, how much damage am I taking? I can just block this. We'll do it. It's fine. I mean, we have me in the bone, so it's not like the biggest deal. So thank God for Echo Form. You see how Echo Form is so useful? It can, there's actually some merit to take a lot more damage now, so I can get me in the bone, right? And get the 14. So they both stack. So if I take... If I get down to 45 or 44, so I take 11 damage, I would heal 12 plus 14, 26. But let's do this. The more I practice, the luckier I get. I like that. The more I practice, the luckier I get. So I can hologram twice and get the go for the eyes and get the, the reinforced body. Or I can claw twice, which is doing lethal. But we, but we did discuss how we potentially want to take 11 damage, right? So if I, let's say I do, here's the problem. If I do hologram twice, I'm not going to take 11 damage. I'm taking not 11. So let's just kill. I think 14 is more than enough. I think conserve battery is very good because... Like, if you notice, on the first turn, at times I'm not using all my energy. Let's see what we get here. Wow. I mean, what should we buy? Does this seem like a good buy? This is... This is... This is interesting. This is interesting. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. I can remove again. Do you think that... Zap... You're leaving, Treko? So you could, we could, we could argue that Zap is probably worse than Strike now, right? Because, well, it's not. Let's see. We can remove Zap, although Zap is doing some consistent damage, it's not bad. Claw luck is insanity. <clears throat> Instead of removing strike, I could I could buy Omamori. So Omamori won't do anything for me now. But in Act 3 it could be useful. But maybe we should think about right now for the champ what's the most useful thing. I would suppose removing the strike and only getting the claw scaling. I guess that's fine. This seed right here is right here at the top right. I, I think removing the zap does have some merit, but, but there's been times where we're using zap in a way that could either make dual cast better or we could use hologram on the zap. Talk to strike. And streamline is not really I think our decks is focused mainly on claw. I and mean, you could argue that Steamberry is okay for more consistent defense. And Steamberry works pretty well. Like a three energy deck first off, it also works with hologram. I'll buy the Steam Barrier. Although maybe we want something like this. A block pot, random pot. I think I want some of these potions. I think Steamberry is pretty good. First off. I think I like the block pot. Okay, we're going for it. I think we're good. I think we can scale up and we'll be fine. Gotta get through this first. Sure, battery is good because I can get Echo Form out. I'm hoping I can get Claws going. Nope. I have two. I can potentially draw into two Claws. Nope.
I'm getting rid of Echo Form, and you could argue, okay, Echo Form was probably worth it. I could have done something like Turbo. Chosen. I I hate it. I hate it. You know, it had me in the bone. It's fine. Me in the bone. No worries. I'm actually fine. Just, I just really, really want to get... I should have got Echo Form out. Me and the bone, we're fine, right? 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 So if we're doing Claw, Hologram Claw, we're doing... 37 damage. You could argue there's, there's some merit to see what we draw into. If we Hologram the Weakened, then do Reinforced Body, we're fine, I suppose. Yikes. Oh my god. Thank goodness Claw is a good card. Okay. Did it not stack? I did stack, didn't it? Scrape makes sense. So Scrape will give me some more Claw stuff. Uh, I guess that's fine. Yeah, I'll take it. I could go for the event and maybe the event gives me something worthwhile or... Or I can go for the, the, um, the monster, which could be a snake plant or something like that, but the monster can give me meat in the bone. And I have a chance to play self-repair. But what could this event be? It could be a free relic, yeah, but it could also be, this event, this, this guy right here could give me self-repair and could give me meat in the bone, which would give me a nice heal before the fight. The monster, anyways. We need Echo from out. We need to draw into. Well. And we need Echo from out. We need to get Turbo with it, hopefully. I think it's worth it to, to do this. I'm wasting all my block pots, but that's I mean that's what they're there for. All right, so Echo Form is is not good here because I'd rather I'd rather scrape and get Turbo and not can play Echo Form. So yeah, I'm taking damage. A part of me wants to save the self-repair so I can get the double self-repair. Because we're going to... I think... I think that's going to make sense. That's close to lethal. It is lethal. Fuck me. So now I didn't get self-repair at all. And now I feel like I gotta wait for self-repair. But this is lethal, unfortunately. Ah, uh, man. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave it so that I still have a chance to kill him. But hope that I get self-repair, and I did. It's all worth. Because Claw is doing 19. It's all worth. It's all worth. It's worth it to take that risk. You see what I mean? So, if we're doing this right, we're healing 26. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> so we get reboot lock on leap i like the reboot because we can play claws multiple 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 times or we could do leap to have more consistent defense now you gotta ask yourself i have four upgraded defense two holograms a reinforced body auto shields conserved battery steam barrier another three holograms we could afford a leap to have more consistent defense. We could afford it. This deck still doesn't have as much defense as I would like. A uh, reboot could be pretty crazy, though. Because we have four claws, so that could be crazy. And now I could rest just to be safe in this fight. Or I could upgrade my last claw. And we could say, look, I think my deck is good at consistent defense. I have a weaken. Actually, you know what? Maybe it's better to upgrade the weaken. 
Have longer weaken turns. Let the claw do its thing. Hopefully get echo form out. And I'm only 54 life. So I as long as I could just survive the first phase, which is all I'm gonna do is survive the first phase and make sure I don't I'm gonna be fine. I think I could afford to upgrade here. For sure. The question is, what do I upgrade? So the weaken to get more mitigation. We can get reboot for bigger value on that. Claw for more scaling. Scrape for more draw. Uh, beam cell for more vulnerable. I think the beam cell is probably really good. You you could argue that we have hologram beam cell. We can do that twice. But having that, like if I'm pushing for if I'm pushing for lethal, having two turns of vulnerable can make it so that I can get lethal much more consistently. The weaken for sure. The weaken for sure. Or the scrape because the scrape can draw into the weaken. They're all, they're all important. I think Reinforced Body is really important too because Reinforced Body is giving me probably my best defense. And I didn't take the leap. I took the reboot. I don't think the weaken is going to be as important as having defense because on the turns where you don't have the weaken, you'd rather... Well, this is a very good conserve battery. I like that. I just wish... Okay, that's fine. Do I use Reboot now? Because we have a lot of energy. Do we use Reboot now? Or no? Yeah, we're 4-0 right now, too. How you doing? So if I do Reboot now, I can start getting the claws going, right? I wish I had better card roll. I don't mind using that because I don't want the lightning. I want to be able to consistently control this damage. We need more card draw. So I can do the claw again, or I could draw into, like, let's say I can do defend. So that's why I don't take damage, right? Although card draw could be nice because if I draw into echo form, I can do triple echo form and get it out of the way. It goes both ways. I like the card draw idea. So Shrape is going to bring my claws out, ideally. It got rid of my Echo Form. It gave me the Weaken, though. I suppose I could play this, although I'm not really too fond of it. Because I don't want to do too much damage. Excess damage, rather. There's the claws. So what we can do is Hologram Echo Form, Hologram Turbo. Just so I can get that out. That's more important than anything. Because now that we got that out, now we are going to win the game. Now the game's going to be won. So conserve battery, 16. This is doing all that. But I'd rather, you know, claw twice. This, there's some merit in that. Because you could argue, I'm going to block in full anyways. So let's do claw twice. Get that scaling. And we're blocking in full anyways. Alright guys, I'm going to sit up for this one. <clears throat> So auto show just doesn't get played twice, but at least I can play it once. That's fine. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do claw again. And I'm gonna do it again. And I'm gonna keep doing it again and again and again. So the claw is so strong that when I use the vulnerable part, this guy is dead for sure. Another situation where, okay, Claw twice is doing some more scaling. The Claws are getting huge. All four of them. Or I could do Defend, Defend, and then a Hologram, a, um... A Conserve Battery. And the thing is, he's not gonna kill me. I, I don't think. And I'd rather get this scaling. I don't think he's gonna kill me. How is Hologram so insane? Hologram's insane because of Echo Form plus of Claw. And it just. Uh, Hologram allows you to pick what you bring back, basically. Mm -hmm. 
Is the claw scaling more important than... So at this point, we're scaling it pretty well. I guess it is more... No, but the thing is, I'd rather defend. Let's defend. I should have done this claw first before the hologram, because that could have scaled up. That was a mistake. Because I could have done a better scaling. That was my bad. Okay. I think we go for lethal here. Because, okay, here's what's going to happen. I'm not weak in this turn. I have vulnerable, right? So I can do claw, claw, and then claw, and then beam cell, right? So that's three turns of vulnerable. And then the next turn, we get scrape, so we can get claws again. Um, the alternative is so, like, if I want to keep the claw scaling, I'm going to have to do it twice right now. If I do it twice right now, he's going to get procced anyways. So if he's going to get procced anyways, this, you can argue, okay, maybe I don't want to do it. I think I do want to do it. So here's what I'm going to do. This. Now, this could be bad, guys. This could be really bad. I could be pushing way too soon, but because of... Because of Scrape being played twice... There's a big chance... There's a big chance Mr. Jeremy has got lethal. Can I get a Claw Claw Caw Caw in the chat? This is for 5-0. We're almost there. Oh my god, look what we got. Look at what we got offered! Look at it! Look at it! Okay. There's a lot of things we can do, right? So Seek Plus is giving us Turbo Echo Form, which... Through that merit, through that, we're going to be getting... Claw, claw twice, or the defense twice. As you can see, Echo Form twice. So Echo Form has been making our deck do so many good things. It's giving us a double defense. It's giving us the, the, the claw scaling. All for one, on the other hand, all for one, on the other hand, is bringing back four claws. I mean, the potential of all for one is insane. If you think about... We'll do Sozu. We, the, we want the energy relic. If you think about... Turbo alongside that, and oh my, we're going against Time Eater. So, Time Eater is kind of a cuck. I don't have the best consistent defense. I think Time Eater destroys this deck the most. But we can still do some claw stuff. I just feel like Time Eater is not who I want to see at all. Hey, Chris Banks, thanks for the uh, $2, man. I appreciate it. Time Eater always ruins my fun. No, we're gonna try to make it work. We're gonna try making it work. We're not gonna let Time Eater eat the fun. <laughs> if you get one or two classes, Time Eater 100%. That's how it works. How am I going to kill these guys? These guys are a pain in the ass. The claw's not going to be good enough. Gotta go lightning. I mean, I suppose we can still do claw here and there. You can control when he procs much better. I agree with that. I agree with that. Whoa! Imagine that. Wow! Guys, claw skills so much, I think we're going to be fine against Time Eater. Self repair is so good. Man, this, this, this run is looking nice, guys. It's, it's getting there. I think a stack at this point is good. I think stack is good at this point because... Um, we just want defense, and, you know, we want to make sure we have consistent defense against the time eater. Wow, okay, and they're not attacking at all. I'm gonna go and get this out of the cycle. This is kind of... This is kind of monk -ass. That means... Wily, thanks for the follow, man. That means that next turn they're gonna be doing... We can get this out. Get the weaken out. You could do reinforced body for 28. We're looking at 25 plus 12... Let's do this. Let's do Reboot. Turbo, Sweeping Beam. 
I just bring back. Hmm. I should have done. I just messed up. I should have done this, then hologram. But we're actually covering full defense. That's fine. Wow. We got the echo form here. So let's try killing. Oh, we can't kill that guy, can we? I wish we could kill that guy, but we can't. So let's do this. Hey, how much is he doing? A lot. I can't see. Damn it. I can't see. I can't see. Oh, I just ruined it again. Twenty-one, tw thirty-nine. Okay, that was the best thing I could have done. So hologram could bring hologram into hologram. Wow, we got the all for one. Oh my god, let's do this first. Oh, f I almost ruined it. I almost ruined it. Oh my god. I had beam, so I just, <laughs> I had lethal. A vampire for a claw, claw, attack, bite attack pattern. Man, it's very nice. We got Sunder, Skim, Turbo. I think we can afford a Skim. At this point, we have four energy, and we have a lot of cheap cards. Skim is very nice. We got another... Do we do it? Guys, do we go? Do we go for five claws? Or is that too much? I said for me, the limit is four. But then again, I've never been offered so many claws in my life. You know what we could do, guys? And you guys are not gonna like this. You're not gonna like hearing this. You're not gonna like hearing this. You're not gonna like hearing it. I think Doom and Gloom makes a lot of sense. Because, as you guys saw, Dark Orbs scale up really well. We're going against Time Eater. One of the best things I could probably do is have a Dark Orb just scaling that doesn't require any cards to be played after the fact. Just sits there, does its thing. While I'm defending and doing claws, the Dark Orb is getting big with me. I need to post a seat. I'll post it, man. You guys want to see five claws? You guys are... Ah, you guys are, This is for five zero. I guess it makes sense. Five zero, go for five claws. I guess that's the that's what we got to do. Even though Dark Orb for me seems better. Five zero, go for five claws. Okay. Five zero, go for five claws. Five, five claws. I'm going to save my gold here. I'm gonna get wrecked, guys. I'm gonna get wrecked by the time eater if I keep going all these crazy shenanigans. I do like stack. I, I missed a stack, didn't I? I do like stack. We'll see. As long as I can consistently defend against Time Eater, I'm happy. Yikes. If we draw into Reboot, we can, like, win this turn. Wait, if I do... I have Hologram. Wait, I have hologram for all for one. What am I talking about? First of all, let's just shoot you because we want to look for um You wanna look for reboot, right? Or at least the claw. Okay. Let's do this. This is gonna be insane. Okay. Get skim again or turbo plus again. Um I've shown that. I Okay, I think I like turbo, I think I like skim, but I don't know, I feel like I could control my turns a little bit better against a time eater. 
I gotta be careful though. If I'm playing 12 cards a turn, I'm fine, right? I think if I'm playing 12 cards a turn, I'm fine. I already got one skim. I think I can take another skim. I think if I'm playing 12 cards a turn, I'm actually fine against the time eater. I should probably go for elites because if I get a kunai or a shuriken, this deck is out of control. But we're gonna go ahead and do this. Oh my god, I love it! I love it! Alright guys, I think if we put 12 cards together, we're gonna be fine. We're, we're gonna see though, the timing may just shock me. Ah, uh, this is unfortunate. I don't want to take all this damage. I, I guess I should have dr drawn first. I can look for the weaken, I believe. That's my only weak potion. That's my only weak potion. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to get self repair double, then we also have meat in the bone. Where's all for one when we need it? It's coming up next turn? Oh, okay. We have all for one next turn. I wanna get self repair doubled. We can do. Hologram twice. Well, since we're gonna win this turn, let's go ahead and get the... Let's get the self repair out. Because we're gonna win this turn. Unfortunately. I could have milked that a little bit more, but we can always get double self repair another time. Steam Barrier Tempest. I'm gonna skip here. I don't want another Steam Barrier. I'm gonna upgrade my, nut, my next claw. <laughs> Now, I think we should focus on something that's going to help us survive, right? So, I think a few things that would be better for me would be upgrading the stack, upgrading the uh, the scrape for more card draw, maybe making conserve battery a little bit stronger, maybe making reinforced bat body a little bit stronger, because that work it works with the turbo, and maybe making the skin stronger. But algorithm is way too late to start it off right now, Garrett. So, Garrett, I'm like on floor 40. The, the algorithm gets scales over time. Now, Reboot is not as strong as, like, something consistent defense like Reinforced Body, something consistent draw like Skim. I think our main goal is to make sure I can, auto can consistently defend. So I think, like, Auto Shield is pretty good. I think Conserve Battery is really good. And I think maybe Reinforced Body. Because you're going to see, with against the Time Eater, my whole goal is to okay, make sure I can consistently defend, but my Claws are going to scale up anyways. So this is going to be 45 block. It's more than enough. So we're going to go ahead and do Hologram first. Uh oh, it's looking like a rip. Because if I mean, it's not a rip, but this guy is not getting any damage, and he's about to explode. Let's see what happens. We got scrape. Hmm. I guess we have scrape again. Yes. Yes. Very nice. I'm going to try to milk self repair again. I mean, I'm in a situation where I've, I think I should milk it for Echo Farm. And there's the Echo Farm for free. Pretty nice. Stack is fantastic. That allows me to attack these guys willy nilly. Well, here's the thing. That's fine. Yes, reinforced body is going to be great for the time meter, exactly. Double self repair. I'm happy with that. I'm not happy with this. I can kill that guy, I suppose. I'll take two damage. Damn, I really don't like... Too much reflect. I have to do it on a turn where he's not attacking. 
Well, that sucks. Let's do this. GG. Okay. 74 life, not bad. Go for the ice again or Glacier. Glacier's interesting. Glacier's interesting. I keep saying interesting, but it is, it is interesting. That gives us Frost and that gives us some more block. And that's a nice little nice expensive car that I could use with Echo Form or whatever to get more consistent block. That could potentially, you know, save my ass against Time Eater. I don't have any focus, but having Glacier is a pretty solid defensive card. And we can go for another go for the Asma. No, we already have one. We don't, we're going to get dual purpose either with Hologram. We can use Hologram to get weakened multiple times. Or we can use Offer 1 to get it multiple times. I think Glacier is more, makes more sense. Don't give me another Claw. Thank you. Okay, at this point I can remove again. But what? how do we feel about Focus Pot? For the, oh, we have Sozu. Never mind. I guess we can remove... The dual cast now is a little bit better because we can get use dual cast on um, Frost. I guess I'm gonna save my money here. Reprogram is not bad. Reprogram, I could use it with double the the three holograms that I have to find Echo Form and think, find the things I need. I could also pull with reprogram everything back with all for one. Reprogram is pretty good here. I don't like FTL because FTL is low impact for... I guess low impact for... So, with a time meter, you want to play cards that are impactful. And that's basically just doing 5 damage to cycle itself. That's giving him a timer for no reason. Whereas, at least Claws, they're scaling each other up, so it's, it's, it's relevant every time you play a Claw. I can't do Vulnerable Pop because... Um, I have Sozu. I don't think Rebound's as good. I mean, Rebound with all for one makes sense. Because I can Rebound all for one and I can do everything again next turn. No, Rebound is good. Rebound is good. I just thought about it. Rebound all for one is pretty insane. I think at this point, I don't want Sweeping Beam. Because I... Sweeping Beam is one card draw for six. But I have Skims. I'm going to remove the Sweeping Beam. Whoa! This game loves me sometimes, I swear. It could have been the sixth claw. Guys, you should have told me to wait. Look at what we would have had. Guys, it's fine. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Look, five claws for a 5 0 streak. I think it's perfect. I think it's perfect. No worries. Don't sweat it. Oh my god. Man, see the things I can't do this against a time meter. I would love to, but I can't. I mean I would love to. I mean imagine a turn where I do with that. <laughs> I, I... We'll see. We'll see. I should have done Turbo first. I can still do Turbo Hologram. I mean, look at the damage. It's so stupid. My deck is out of control. <laughs> I think... <laughs> Devil Energy is pretty good with Conserve Battery. But, uh, I'm gonna skip. Although Devil Energy could be good with, like... Reinforced Body and Conserve Battery. No, I'm gonna skip. Cool Headed. Mmm, skippy, skippy. My deck's insane right now. Rebound, claw, skim. Claw, claw. <laughs> Triple conserve battery. I need skim because I have all this card draw. Whoa. It's GG. I should have done this first for the beam cell. I just I just ruined so much potential damage. I just ruined so much potential damage. No, I should have done that first. I would have had lethal. I missed an opportunity. Damn.
I'm gonna skip. Okay, another thing that's a good upgrade for me, again, is, is I still think defense is really important, right? So, I still think Scrape is not bad because Scrape is giving us, like, four card draw, which is, can be really good. I still think that, okay, we can make the claws still scaling nicely, but I think they're scaling good enough already. I think either auto shield or conserve battery to get more consistent block. What's going to save me? It's going to save my ass. Stack. Skim. I mean... Reboot makes it so it's seven cards. But I think uh, the beam cell is not as important because I do all for one thing so I can get double vulnerable anyways, right? Scraper's just the worst skim in this deck. Well, not really. Well, I guess it is. But, but, but Scrape does two things because Scrape can put things to the discard, which can be activated with hologram. I guess it could be. Uh, mm. You hoping to learn something, Dre Lee? Okay, man, I hope you can learn something. Putting a lot of pressure on me right now. I know I always use Reboot, but Reboot is something you use once. I'd rather have something I have consistent defense. So things like Glacier are a little bit better. I think that should be pretty good to get defense against the Time Eater. I think, like, double Glacier. I'm basically thinking about defending. So I'm going to go either Conserve, Auto, or Glacier. I think Auto. Ah. Uh, Mm. Yeah, so basically the scrape makes it so I don't play Echo on the bad turn, yep. Because it can describe the Echo. And since I don't have a way... I, I guess Echo Form is actually a good... I think Echo Form is actually a good upgrade. Because if I don't get Turbo with the Echo Form, then I'm just... I mean, I'm going to play it regardless. So I only need to block for, so they're doing what, 21, 32, right? I only need to block twice with this. So I can do rebound, claw, throw a zap in there. Uh, they're doing 30, sorry. They're doing 30, 32. So I, I have to do three. All right, this is all come down to 5-0 right here. Can we do it? Can we persevere? Can I do it? We're looking at, again, 21-32. We have 32 exactly. I mean, I could reboot, but I'd rather reboot on a turn where I have more energy. I mean, I guess we should. We'll do it. What happened? Oh, what was retracted? What did I miss? I, we came to the conclusion that we should draw first, right? We need to get Echo Form out and Self Repair out, because that's going to be a nice heal. Well, we can... We're almost killing this dude. I mean, we might as well kill that dude. Uh. If we do Turbo, we can do Echo Form and Hologram. So here's what we could do. Let's do this. Hologram the Claw to kill that guy, right? Echo Form. So now that when we draw into um, Self Repair, we play it twice, we get a full heal, we can get another upgrade in before the Time Eater. So I prepared twice. I almost missed it. I should have done rebound there. My bad. Doesn't matter. GG. Okay. We got pretty much a full heal. That's good enough for me to feel like, okay, I can get another upgrade in. And this is where it all counts, guys. From 5-0. Well, let's think about how we're going to kill a time eater. We're going to scale up a claw. We're going to consistently defend. Okay. I don't think any of these are going to help me. I guess I can take another turbo. Because getting another turbo can give me better turns with the skins. And potentially allow me more possibilities to get the Echo Form out. I think maybe another Turbo is fine. Our deck's a little bit thick. Kind of a thick boy right now. 
and we can afford another turbo. You could argue, okay, yeah, we're gonna do number turbo. Number turbo. Yeah, 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 I said turtle, not turbo. Okay. Upgrade the turbo. Upgrade the auto shield, the conserved battery. I mean, stack. Stack is getting some value. But with, once we get Echo Form out, everything becomes amazing, right? So I think our priority is getting Echo Form out. And since that's our priority, I think we upgrade turbo. Okay. Auto shields, glacier. I'm gonna skim. I'm gonna get this out of the cycle, and I'm gonna defend. Not the greatest first turn. All our holograms are in our discard for the most part. We don't have a weaken. I suppose we can get for the weaken here. Nope, okay. I can weaken now, or I can take the hit. So I'm left with three cards next turn. Three cards next turn. And that's what I'm left with. Okay. I suppose it makes sense to weaken, right? Really bad draw. Extremely bad draw. Really bad draw. Why are these draws so bad? It's ri ridiculous to me. So I think we should do all for one now and, and go for it, right? Like, if we do a whole bunch of claws, we're, we're feeling okay. I mean, next year we have e Turbo Echo Form, but we wanted proc him now. So what we want to do is make sure we can defend. And I think with Reinforced Body, we're going to defend. So let's do this. So with Reinforced Body, I'd rather get... I have five cards to play here, right? So I'm at the end, I have to play four cards before this. So here's what we're gonna, actually, do we want a full defense? It's probably better to do, X, mm. It's gonna be 18 plus 22, right? He's gonna get up to eight times four. Eight times three, rather. We're fine. Do this twice. We're fine. It's fine. One, two, three. Now the question is, I keep. We, I think we keep the scaling going. Oh, it's nine times three. My bad. Oh, I did that wrong. By two. Okay. Well, this is fine because we can do turbo. Echo form, right? Or we could do all for one right now. Do we have lethal right now of all for one? And then we finish off a reboot? Where's my beam cell? It's literally right there. My beam cell is right there. Huh. Um, beam cell is right there. If I do hologram all for one, let's just think about it for a second. I have, that's one card, and then all for one is two cards. And I have ten cards to play. So ten cards to play, I do claw, claw, claw. That's going to be 30, 63. Not to mention my strength. I have five claws. That base damage is already doing... 150, right? Not to mention the scaling. And then I have reboot on top of that. I wish I had beam cell. If I had beam cell, I have lethal. Where the hell is beam cell? If I do rebound first, there's no way I can draw it to get beam cell. Yeah, it's not enough. It's not enough. But it gets the claws scaling like crazy. And as long as I survive, I should kill him quite easily. He needs to strength during that. Yeah, exactly. But I think I can end it off with... 
some kind of block, and I'll be fine. And then next turn he's gonna have I'm gonna have a free turn, and I can go kill him next turn. So I'm gonna do it. The alternative is I'm doing it. If I do Turbo Reboot... There's a chance we have Lethal. So if I do Turbo Reboot, I have three cards left. If I just do Reboot, I have four cards left. Alright? The alternative is... So... He, he could say this. If I do Reboot now... I have four potential cards to kill him. But if I draw onto any claw, I'm winning. I could triple echo form, but he's at 56 life. Next turn, I have a free turn, and then I think we're going to kill him no matter what. I just got to make sure I have enough defense. So he's doing 27. I have seven block plus 34. I'm at 41. If I use the defense before and then I can do reboot, we're fine. It says me 9 damage, right? It also gives him the weaken, which... I think the weaken's gonna r run off next turn, so I gotta do this, actually. What do you reboot now? Can I get a clap in the chat? 5-0 on the defect, essentially 15. 5 claws for 5 wins in a row. God... He was killing next turn, guys. Next turn, he was going to do nothing. He was doing nothing next turn. So next turn, I could have had a free turn anyways. But I was super conservative because, you guys, I want to show that you got to take your time when you want to win. You got to think it through.